You're watching BBC News. Now, an Australian scientist has discovered a new native bee species, species with, without, or with tiny horns, pardon me, appropriately naming it Mega Child Lucifer. Well, the bee was found while observing a rare wildflower which only grows in Western Australia's goldfields region. The horns are only present on the female bee and may be used as a defence mechanism or to gather pollen or nectar. Well, to get more on that, let's speak to Dr. Kit Prendergast, a native bee ecologist and an adjunct professor at Curlin University. She was the scientist who actually discovered the bee. Well, welcome to BBC News. Uh, big story, big discovery. Um, just tell us how you ended up finding a new species of bee. I mean, haven't they all been found? So, tragically, or maybe excitingly, there are so many undescribed bee species in the world, but also in Australia. You'd think that we'd have a pretty good handle on our native bee biodiversity, but we don't. There's about 1,700 described species, but we estimate there's about 500 undescribed species. That is the number of mammal species in Australia. So huge amount of work to be done, uh, but also an exciting time for discoveries. I have done mm -hmm. lots of native bee surveys where I found species that are undescribed, uh, but this one caught my eye and it's the second new species I've described. Um, the first one I called Leoproctus Zephyr. Zephyr is my dog, so <laughs> I like having a bit of fun with the <laughs> names of new species. Let's talk about that because we're looking at the screen here. We can see those little horns on uh, the bee. I think we can hopefully uh, show that picture again so you can see the little horns. Um, so tell us uh, about the name Lucifer and a little bit more about why you ended up choosing that. Yeah, so when you describe a new species, you get to decide the name. And Megachili Lucifer, the females have these devil-like horns. And I thought Lucifer, um, in consultation with my co-author, was the perfect name for this devilish bee. Uh, the other reason why we chose Lucifer rather than, you know, devil or horny or something like that was... Um, so species names are in Latin and Lucifer actually means light bringer. So I'd hoped that by describing this new species, I could also bring to light the issues facing native bees, such as under recognition, many undescribed species, uh, many species that aren't protected, areas that haven't been surveyed and needing to protect and conserve our native be mm. bees in the face of things like habitat loss due to mining or agriculture. And I must say, I also really love the Netflix show Lucifer. So Tom Ellis, <laughs> if you're watching this, um, I hope you're really pleased with having a mega chili Lucifer. Yeah, it's quite cool to be named, uh, off, have a bee named after you. Uh, just remember that <laughs> next time you name a bee. I'd quite like one named after me. Um, how significant is this discovery kit? So I think it's, um, you know, any new species discovery and description is significant because without having a name and a formal description, that species would just go under the radar Uh it won't be able to be studied, it won't be able to be listed for protection. And so giving a name to a species is, you know, the first step in ensuring it's documented, it's conserved, and it's part of our understanding of the amazing diversity that has evolved on this planet. Just very briefly, Kit, do you think there's enough backing to protect native bee species? There definitely needs to be more funding and more investment and you know i love native bees so much i've dedicated my my life to them i have tattoos of them and i am now creating in my you know spare time uh australian native bee conservation strategy i've been working hard at this um consulting with my colleagues both in australia as well as overseas including in the uk uh, simon potts is an amazing bee researcher and putting together a science-based, evidence-based Australian native bee conservation strategy so that we have a unifying framework to protect our native bees. Of course, we need funding, but we also need people mm -hmm. on the ground arming them with the right knowledge so that they can conserve native bees. And, you know, the number mm -hmm. one thing for conserving native bees yeah. is protecting native habitat. 
Well, Kit, I think that's my favourite story of the day. Thank you so much for awesome. joining us. Kit Prendergast, native bee ecologist who named that latest discovery Lucifer. Lucy Hawkins is up next. Thanks for watching. <laughs>